here today with Senator Dale Erty. We just discussed in uh, House Transportation Committee the bills to help improve roads in Livingston Parish. Senator Erty, tell us a little about what we uh, discussed today. Well, we have four Senate concurrent resolutions today that are urging to request DOTD to take a look at these projects that are very valuable to the citizens of Livingston and Tashville Parish. Uh, one is the LA-22 widening project between Interstate I-55 and Springfield, which uh, we're looking at wide to three lanes. And this is something that uh, we talked about and discussed back in the day with Representative Kate Powell sitting on the House side. I'm uh, seeing over there, but it certainly was important then and it's uh, equally more important today simply because there's more subdivisions, more traffic flow, there's been some accidents at key intersections there. So we think this is a safety thing as well as a way to mitigate the traffic and, and get the uh, traffic and congestion going. So what's the next step after this? Well, it goes to the floor of the House, uh, in which I'm sure Representative McHugh, which is also a co-author of that bill, will handle that bill. You just had a birthday? Did it, uh, uh, oh. Did it surprise you how quickly this breezed through here today? Well, uh, no, not necessarily. Everybody knows the uh, fast-growing area of Livingston and Tesco Parish. I think this is a valuable project that uh, needs to be done. And uh, we think it's just the House uh, say it favorably as a resolution to approve it uh, without a hearing. The other, the other three projects that we have uh, on the board were, were, were the widening uh, of U.S. Navy. <laughs> between Gun Springs and Livingston. We have the technical college that's uh, yeah. coming there in the walk here between Gun and We think that uh, there will be additional traffic and that will be created as a result of that. <laughs> Not only that, everybody knows that the United States Interstate 12 shuts down and the US 190 is the alternate route of choice. And uh, as a result of that, there's just uh, the traffic is poor. It's terrible when that happens. And we just think that this would be an added benefit to the, uh, the area. Particularly because it's a major east-west route. But the other project that we have was the Bend Road project. Uh, the bridge there is inadequated. It's so old, it's narrow. Uh, commercial vehicles or school buses can uh, when they you know, come in vehicles can't pass at the same time. So as a result, we need to widen that bridge uh, because of the uh, accidents that occurred there and uh, the traffic that's being developed in that area. It's just something that needs to be done as soon as possible. So Possibility of a new bridge? Or? Basically, a new bridge there because it's so old. So we want to rehabilitate that bridge and you know, widen it in the process. Uh, encourage we have better public safety. Uh, and right. lastly is the uh, the roundabouts at uh, Eaton Church Road in Lockhart and also a roundabout at Dunn Road in Lockhart. There is on the drawing board right now to be constructed a roundabout in Cochran and Lockhart. That's actually in the letting process. We're looking at seeing that being completed, completed in the near future. What we want DOT to do is to advance the Dunn Road project, the Eaton Church Road project, so we can uh, speed up those developments and encourage a better traffic flow for the Lockhart area. It is, as you well know, a good east west route for commuters in the morning and afternoon. And if you've ever been in that area, it is inundated with a lot of vehicles. So we we think this will be a step in the right direction for DMTD to move this project up sooner than later. Looks like everything's moving forward, though. Yes, sir. I think it is. And we're very pleased with the process. And I think you're going to see a success on the outside. Well. Senator Erty, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, it's a pleasure.